Hi kids, welcome to the Master's House Children's Church. I'm glad you're able to join me today. And for those of you, if this is your first time joining us and you enjoy the lesson, please be sure to ask your parents if you can subscribe to the Master's House and that way you don't miss any of the upcoming lessons. So we have talked about all different kinds of people in the world, um, how people have different skin and hair and eyes. And instead of thinking about how different we are, we should remember that we're all one race, the human race. We all came from the same first people that God created, which was Adam and Eve. And if you missed that lesson, you can go back and watch it, okay? And all people are special to God because he created us all in his image, right? So God wants us to love others regardless of what shade of brown we are, what our hair might look like, what kinds of clothes that we wear. So today we're going to read about a man named Job. But before we do, let's go ahead and start with a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all your amazing miracles in our lives, the blessings, Lord God, that you give us in our lives, Lord Jesus, always taking care of us and keeping us safe, Lord. And just thank you for knowing what's best for us, Lord God. Pray that you would help us today to hear your word, to understand it, and to keep it in our hearts, Lord. I pray that you would touch all your children's needs today, Lord God, the ones we know of and the ones that we don't know of, Lord Jesus. Pray that you would touch our pastor and Sister Christy and just help us have a wonderful and blessed day. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so before we jump into the lesson, let's go ahead and look at the Bible truths that we're learning, okay? And as I read out these questions, if you know the answer, go ahead and say them out loud wherever you are, okay? You ready? So what word means that God is in control of everything? Sovereign, okay? That word's going to come up a bit, so try to remember that one and we'll keep practicing it. What is the bad news we learn from the Bible? All people have sinned. What is the good news that we learn from the Bible? That Jesus saves sinners. Jesus saves us all, huh? What word means God cannot sin and he hates all sin? Holy God is holy. Very good. So as I mentioned earlier, we are going to learn about a man named Job. Job loved God and had faith in God. And he tried his hardest to live in a way that pleased God. Now God had blessed Job with a lot of wonderful things. He had oxen and donkeys and servants and sheep and camels and 10 grown children, seven sons and three daughters. Job was rich and he was happy. But then one day terrible things started to happen to Job. So let's find out what God's word says about this. So Job 1, 14 through 15 says, And there came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them, and the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. So people came and stole Job's oxen and his donkeys, and they killed some of his servants. That's terrible, isn't it? But the Bible says God allowed these terrible things to happen. God is in control of everything. So now Job 1.16 says, While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of God has fallen from heaven and hath burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Oh my, so this tells us that after the first terrible things happened, that fire came from the sky and burned up all the sheep and killed all the servants that were watching the sheep. Then the next verses tell us that Job's camels were stolen and more servants were killed. And next his children, all 10 of them were together in one house when a great wind came, blew down the house and killed them all. All the wonderful things God had given to Job were gone, but God allowed one more thing to happen. And this was terrible too. God allowed Job to get painful sores all over his body, from his head to his feet. Poor Job, his whole body hurt. God had blessed Job with good health, but he didn't even have that anymore. Can you imagine 
what it was like for Job. That was so terrible. He was so upset. What do you think he did? Can you imagine all these terrible things happening? Well, let's see. Job 1.21 tells us that Job said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wow! Job wasn't mad at God because he knew that God was the one that had given him everything. And Job knew that God could take it away at any time. He said, the Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away. And then Job praised God and worshiped him. And he said, blessed be the name of the Lord. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? So even through all the suffering that Job was going through, Job knew that God is sovereign which means God is in control of everything. Can you say that word with me? Sovereign. Very good. We'll keep practicing that one, okay? So Job spent many days thinking about God, talking to God, and listening to God, and through all of it, Job learned that he could trust in our sovereign God. So finally, God, guess what? He blessed Job again. He gave Job more than he had before, Job lived a happy and healthy life with more children and even grandchildren. So now sometimes God blesses us and it seems like things are great and it's easy to trust in God when everything's going really well, right? But it's important that we trust in God even when we don't understand what's happening. Maybe a pet dies or someone we love gets sick and things can be really hard, but we need to remember that God is sovereign. He is in control of everything and God is always good. We can trust him just like Job did. Amen. So now let's go ahead and read the memory verse that we've been learning. So this is Genesis 12, 1 through 2. Now the Lord said unto Abram, get thee unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. So guess what? Just like Job had to trust in God's sovereignty, so did Abraham. In this verse, God told Abram to leave everything he knew. He was comfortable where he was. He probably had everything that he needed, but he trusted that God was in control and did as God told him. And God blessed Abraham just as he said that he would. Isn't that wonderful? God is truly good and we can always trust God and know that he is in control. There you are. So I'm so glad you're able to join me today. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and I hope that you keep it in your hearts and are able to share it with others. And I just pray that you have a wonderful and blessed day. I look forward to learning more about God with you next week. And I just pray that you have a blessed and wonderful day. Be well.